Welcome to the Roanoke Valley SPCA Beeline Handling class. During this class, you will learn the basics to safe handling of cats and kittens in our care. What is this all about? We want our volunteers to give our cats and kittens a great enrichment experience. These guidelines are the framework for all interaction with animals at the Roanoke Valley SPCA. These same rules apply for dogs as well as cats. Carrying cats around the room is a bad idea for a couple of reasons. One is that the cats may be aggressive towards other cats and redirect their aggression to you. The other is that you are exposing the cat in your arms to all the illnesses the other cats may be carrying, or exposing these cats to whatever a cat in your arms may have. We'll cover safe and appropriate handling of cats later. The stainless steel cages we have in the shelter are great for preventing disease transmission because they are easy to clean, but they're also loud for cats. The doors slam and cause vibrations throughout the bank of cages, and the metal walls magnify the sound in the cages and can be unbearably loud to the cats. Our goal is to maintain a highly professional appearance for the public. We're also going to have cats on the ground in the cat playroom and behavior suites. So having pants on will matter more when cats or kittens decide to climb up your legs. Cats are easily stressed. A stressed cat or kitten is susceptible to disease. Upper respiratory infection is very contagious for cats and will sweep through a room in no time. If you hear a cat or kitten sneezing, notify staff immediately. Cats were raised by us and are content to share our homes, food, and affection. Many prefer our company to other cats. Let's take a look at the physiology of cats. Sight. Cats see in blues and greens. Cats hunt at twilight. Touch. Cats use their whiskers to help see. Whiskers allow cats to move through narrow, dark, and small spaces. Hearing. Cats can hear at a frequency up to 60 kilohertz. Cats have 20 to 30 muscles in their ears to control movement. Cats have over 2 million olfactory cells in their noses. Cats use scents for communication or reading messages left by cats or other small animals. A cat's tongue is used to lick food and also as a comb. Only 30 to 50 percent of cats respond to catnip. The biochemical pathways affected by catnip in cats is the same as LSD or marijuana in humans. Yes, cats have a sixth sense. Many cats are given two pounds each year due to behavior issues. 
Now is the time to point out our cats are evaluated prior to us taking them. Our behavior staff evaluates each cat or kitten for sociability and temperament. With that said, we may still see some of these behaviors. Cats and kittens are not meant to be confined in small cages. They need to stretch out and be cats. Stalking, pouncing, running are all necessary activities for cats to be healthy and happy. Cats confined to a cage will become depressed and depressed cats' health will deteriorate. Remember, cats are fast. Be very cautious when opening a cage. Kittens especially will be out of the cage and running very quickly. Everyone has a kennel card. Kennel cards will give you the basic information about the cat or kitten, their age, breed, and name. As most of you know, the vast number of cats to choose from for transfer is tremendous. Due to our limited space, we do not often take cats with behavior issues. Adult cats are the pets who stay with us the longest. If we do not consistently get the cats out socializing and playing, their behavior will change. Cats use body language to tell us what they're feeling. Whenever you are looking to understand what a cat is trying to tell you about his mood, look at the entire body. Stressed cats can be unpredictable. Pay close attention. What is the cat telling you? Staring is not considered friendly. Rivals will outstare each other. Blinking at cats can calm them. If pupils are dilated, use caution when interacting with the cat. Cats also sometimes just stare into space like they're daydreaming. It could be that they're just using peripheral vision to get information rather than focusing on any one thing. Ears may start out facing forward, but if they start to swivel, twitch, or flatten, leave the cat alone. Purring is something cats do when they are relaxed, but it's also something they can do when injured or ill, as if self-soothing. Sometimes vets can't hear heartbeats because the cat is purring so loudly, and not because it's glad to be at the vet. See the tail of the frightened cat looks larger than normal. The hair is sticking up. Any time a cat looks bigger than usual, they are telling you to beware. A wet cat tends to be angry. This is what you will see in a happy and relaxed cat. This is what you will see in a scared, frightened, or stressed cat. This is what you'll see with an angry or upset cat. following are general behaviors you will see in cats. Cats adapt what they're saying based on how we respond to their vocalizations. In effect, we train them. They use different words with different people or other animals. 
cats have 16 identified vocalizations and probably more that happen at a higher frequency than we're able to hear. Tiny kittens purr when being attended by their mothers. Older kittens use purring to solicit play. Cats will often purr when soliciting or enjoying affection or attention, but can also purr when sick or injured as a self-soothing strategy. The mechanism for what makes cats purr is not well understood. Meowing can be used for many different requests. Food, open the door, attention, begging, demanding, complaining, expressing a plea or disappointment. The meow becomes happier and lighter sounding if they get what they want, or short, higher pitched meowing when not getting what they want. Kisses are warnings. Open mouth, upper lip drawn back, tongue arched to expel air quickly. Spitting is sudden, often involuntary when startled, often in conjunction with a hiss. Growling is used as a more aggressive warning and is intended to be distance increasing. Cats vocalize to other cats in frequencies we can't hear. They may wail at another cat when it's in its territory. Older cats cry when alone or disoriented. Deaf cats also meow when wail frequently. Can't hear how loud they are. The majority of cats who come into shelters are mixed breeds. Even pure breeds are probably mixed as well. Of these, Siamese are probably the breed we see most. But like dogs, it is a guessing game. These are what to look for in oriental or triangle. Persian or round faced. Cobby or square. Very young kittens are difficult to identify. The following are the differences to look for when identifying the gender of a cat or kitten. Zoonotics are those diseases which can be transmitted from an animal to a human. Transmission is rare, but it is always better to be safe. After working with the animals, it is a good rule of thumb to change clothes when you get home and toss your shelter clothes into the washer. Have a special pair of sh shelter shoes or wear shoes which can be easily washed. We have comment sheets for volunteers who socialize with cats to check off the behaviors they see in the cat while at play. Cats in cages do not act the same as they do when out playing, so the volunteers are the best source of information for a cat's behavior. Share what you know with potential adopters. This is the best way to approach a cat in a cage. Much of this information comes from the Open Paw 5 Level Training for Cats. There is not a video for this training, but I do have the handouts of each level. You are free to come by for a copy or go to openpaw.org and download the handouts. Remember, each of our cats have been evaluated for behavior. 
We take as many as possible who are friendly and social cats. Cats in cages will get stressed so they can have a bad day and decide they do not want to be handled. These are signs to watch for in an overstimulated cat. The shelter only uses positive reinforcement for our animals, treats and praise for good behavior. Taking your attention away is the best way to deal with bad behavior. Please remember kittens love to climb everything, especially your legs. If you are scratched or bitten by a cat or kitten, even if it's an accident or your fault, the cat is required to spend 10 days in isolation. This is the best way to pick up a cat. Shelter cats benefit from socialization, but so does the volunteer. Cats are great stress relievers. Carriers are located in the spa. When using a carrier, you will need to clean it. In the spa, you will find a bottle of trifecta. Spray the inside of the carrier and let it sit for five minutes before wiping it clean. Most of our enrichment volunteers use two carriers. One can be sitting with trifectant in it while you use the other. Cats and kittens need some time each day to be cats and kittens. Pounce, climb, play, stalk are all normal behaviors for cats. A minimum of 15 minutes is needed. You will also find in the cabinets a supply of treats and canned food. There may be times when a bored cat or kitten makes a mess in his cage. They will shred the paper, kick the litter out of the pan, and play in the water. Please clean the cage. You will find all you need in the cat food prep room. When it comes to the adoption, please direct the public to the front desk, kennel staff, or adoption counselors. This concludes our presentation on safe handling of cats. Now that you've completed our training, it's time to come in and help the cats and kittens residing at the shelter. We are open for socialization of cats Mondays 11.30 to 5.30, Tuesdays through Fridays 11.30 to 6.30, and Saturdays from 10 until 4. Come in and start socializing with the cats. In other words, come and have some fun and let the cats and kittens have fun as well. Thank you.